All right, this is a quick video on how to do uh, the step response of an RL circuit. It assumes you've seen these other links. So initially, this current is just recirculating here, and all the energy here would be dissipated. So the current through the inductor would start off at zero. When this switch goes high, all the current will go through both of the um, will be divided between these two devices. Now the trick is is at first all the current none of the current will go through the resistor uh, uh, excuse me the inductor it'll all be going through the resistor and then as time goes on it'll all go through the inductor. That's because um, that's the natures of inductors and resistors. So at first it'll start off at zero. Then when that switch goes high, it'll be mostly going through here. Then as time goes on, as it turns back into a DC signal, inductors are kind of just like a wire or a short. So the voltage would go down uh, to zero or very close. And we'd have a DC uh, current flowing through that. The only thing, the only one of those that and if we look at the problem, we have an uh, four amps. So you have exponential approach. So we've got this is exponential approach because at time equals zero, four minus four to the zero is zero. So that one could be, could be this one, could be this one. This is exponential decay, so it can't be. It starts high and ends up at zero. And then we have another one. So then the the other so really what we have to know is what the time constant is. And so really it's just an RL circuit. Um, when the switch is closed, the impedance of this current source is effectively infinite. So that means even though it's a current source, no current from these can go back into it. Therefore, um, from an impedance perspective, it's not there. So you just have RL um, from the previous video. Um, tau is L divided by R, which then um, would really be R divided by L times T. And you can figure that out.